So at this time, I will ask that my ancestors guide me in this reading for you all. And you put on some uh This definitely remind me of my old wave. I love this music. If you probably go to one of my old, old videos from years ago, you'll probably hear this same beat in the background. Very common beat. Once upon a time, I ain't know nothing about the beat, but now I can tell you, yeah, go back in my videos, you'll hear the same beat. Okay, at this time, we wanna ask my ancestors to guide me spiritually and to use me at this time to convey any messages that they want to bring on to the physical realm, to their descendants, those who choose to listen. We need a pretty good shuffle. That's pretty good. Cut it. Gonna take three cards as always today is day three day three of spiritual guidance i'm very happy thank you for everybody who's been coming getting the uh guidance and been applying it to everyday life for example on day one i believe i told you guys to write out a list for everything that you're gratitude everything you're you're happy for everything you're grateful for and read that list every morning because a lot of you don't know gratitude a lot of you walking around feeling like um, there's nothing to be thankful for when it's so much around you to be thankful for. Look, the first card is delight. Count your blessings and enjoy life. Take pleasure in the simple things. Always expect the best. So count your blessings. Be happy. Be grateful. You know what I'm saying? Today, in today's society, is an accomplishment just to eat alone. So, with that being said, you have a roof over your head, you have food on your table, your family is good. You know, yeah, we go through our trials and tribulations, but we rise above them all. You know what I'm saying? We definitely rise above them all. I definitely am a firm believer in that. Um, take pleasure in the simple things. That's where that gratitude list come in at. Writing a list out and... Um, expressing and being able to think because sometimes you have to think of the things you're grateful for you just don't know the top of your head like somebody could be like right now if i tell you tell me what you're thankful for you gotta think about it a little bit you know what i'm saying so when you write and allow yourself to think and, and you're going to find that you come up with so many things to be thankful for like i bet anybody that write this list i bet that you can come up with over 20 things to be thankful for over 20 things easily your children, your family, your yourself, life, you know what I'm saying? The simple things like water, air, all of that. Um, next card is passion. Do what excites you. Get fired up about your life and increase your energy levels. So to increase your energy levels, you have to stay in nature. Sometimes you have to stay in nature. You have to stay grounded. You have to eat the proper things. Like I said, you have to have that gratitude, that humbleness, that just that feel good aura about you. Like, look, nobody can steal my shine. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna do what what I love to do. Do what excites you. Get you do what fire. Get you fired up about your life. Cause nine times out of ten, that's your life purpose. The things that make you happy if you're an adult and you love painting or you love music or you love writing or you love doing readings or you love spirituality or you love these are the things that's tied in with your soul purpose so doing those things that keep you feeling excited like a big kid in a candy store you want to keep doing those things especially if it serves your higher your highest good you know what i'm saying especially if it serves your highest good reinvent yourself give life to your dreams and create a new reality so let's go through a rebirth let's change our way of thinking let's change our way of acting let's change our way of moving you know what i'm saying let's it's time for a rebirth it's time for that spiritual bath it's time for that 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 restart button you know what i'm saying create a new reality let's see what else we got here oh i love this card 
um, innocence. Take time to play. Nurture your inner child. Live with a childlike sense of wonder. So take that time to still color. Take that time to still write. As you see, I've been drawing and things like that because these are things that ties with you being, these are things I used to do when I was kid, a kid. You know what I'm saying? I used to color when I was a kid. I used to doodle when I was a kid. I used to love writing utensils and um, arts and craft utensils. Like I wanted it all, clay, markers, color pencils, paper, mounds of paper, like give it to me all because I love art. You know what I'm saying? So anytime I'm doing anything with a paper or a pen and I'm drawing or something like that and it's not a, you know, it's just freehanded, I love that. That's like really time for me to indulge in my inner child because that takes me back to when I was a kid. And it's actually healing. Because when you was a kid, that's kind of like when you didn't have any worries. You know what I'm saying? Like you wasn't worried about a light bill. You wasn't worried about um, going to work every day. You wasn't worried about you wasting your mom food. And now you know what it feel like to be like, look at what we going through. Are you crazy? You better eat that damn food. You know what I'm saying? Now you understand. But go back. It's good to go back and ball up and watch that little Disney movie. Even though it's not a conscious thing to do. But you're conscious enough to know better than I would say, you know, just go there. I mean, I would, especially if you have children. If you have children, that is your escape route to being a freaking kid. That's your escape route. That's You can still have fun with them. You can still giggle with them, playing slumber parties with them. My mom used to have slumber parties with us. She used to um, make homemade Rice Krispie treats. And we'll have slumber parties on thunderstormy nights. So she'll be telling us scary movies. I mean, scary stories and stuff like that. And um, I was freaked out about clowns. That freaked me out all the time. But, you know, that was, I'm pretty sure as much as we was like freaked out, having fun, yelling, screaming, going cake mix crazy, I'm pretty sure it, my mom enjoyed it just as much. And she was basically, it was basically healing for her soul because she said, you know, a lot of people didn't get to have their childhood. So when they have kids, they get that piece, of, they get that time to be that kid again when their kids is growing up and they're interacting with their children. Um, cycles. Everything has its right time. Honor the cycle of your body. Tune into the moons of magic. So the moon has been shifting. We've been getting full moons. New, we about to get a, uh, I think it's a new moon or vice versa. However, I said it backwards. Or this could mean, you know what I'm saying? A lot of times I used to get this card, no lie. Like, I would be on my flow. You know what I'm saying? So, a lot of women that may watch this today may um, may be on their moon time or around that time. But everything has its right time. Honor the, the cycles of your body. Tune into the, the moon's magic. So, make sure you guys go on my website and definitely check out that post where I was speaking on the things that you can do on a new moon and the things you can do on a full moon as far as banishing, attracting, things in and out um, of your life. They definitely take advantage of that. Last card is possibility. Raise your standards. Elevate your expectations. You have unlimited potential. So don't feel like, um, just like I think I said this message yesterday, stop feeling like you're not worthy. You know what I'm saying? Stop feeling like you're not worthy. Don't go overboard with it. You want to be fair, but still get your worth. Raise your standards. Don't accept anything. Just like you would with your food. You see somebody start cooking your food with no gloves. Uh -uh, I'm not eating that. Put on some gloves. There's nothing, you know what I'm saying, disrespectful. There's nothing to be funny, but sir, I don't know you. Like, put some gloves on. You know what I'm saying? That's raising your standards. Like, I'm not going to eat from here if you can't respect what I'm telling you. You can't respect my my bound the boundaries I put in place, the rules I put I set in place for me to be here right now. Um, take time out from the world, spend time alone, meditate, or go on a retreat. So a lot of you need time to yourself. Like I said, I was speaking on it the other day, detox your relationships, all of them. I mean, down to your home girl, down to your home boy, down to your family members, down to even, you know what I'm saying? Don't deal with what's not good for you. Even client wise as a, as a business owner or anything like that, you don't have to accept anything from anybody. You could get out, go somewhere else. You know what I'm saying? So take some time out, spend some time alone, meditate, or go on a retreat. Okay.
okay? So I hope, I hope you guys all enjoyed the message. It's kind of short today. I'm going to keep it short. And um, I hope everyone just enjoys the rest of their day. And I hope you guys was able to take something from this message, even though it was short.